Okay, for 4.7, in order to understand what's going on, our objective today is to identify congruent overlapping triangles and to prove two triangles congruent using other congruent triangles. I really need you to be able to identify overlapping triangles. In this diagram that I have here, I have this triangle coming through here. Notice the corresponding um, measures, BDA or ABD. And I have this triangle. Okay, these two triangles are in this same diagram. Have you noticed that AD is reflexive in both? It's a different way of looking at AD. Okay, when we're looking at this, it's a different way of looking at segment AD. Okay, so I want you to be able to recognize those overlapping triangles. Today, I'm not only going to be doing part of your notes, but the remainder of the stuff I don't cover is your assignment, and you will enter that in Schoology. So, essential understanding, you can use the congruent corresponding parts of one congruent triangles of, you know, of one pair of congruent triangles to prove another pair of congruent triangles, or Let's read that again. You can use the cor congruent corresponding parts of one pair of congruent triangles to prove another pair of triangles congruent. So here, for exercise one through six, separate and redraw the indicated triangles. Identify any common angles or sides. Okay, and this first one I have BC is my common side. And I can identify that by noticing that I've got BCA and I've got B, C, D. But now remember, the thing I've got to recognize is that I've got reflexive with C, B, because it switches direction. I don't have any angles in common with this, but you're getting the idea of how you redraw in showing the idea, the things that are in common. In problem three, you'll notice that I have angle L that's in common instead of a side. So here, when I pull this out, I've got K, L, N, and here I will have L, M, J, but angle L is congruent to angle L, okay? So separate and redraw the indicated triangles, identify any common angles or sides. So I identified the common angle and I identified the common side in one, so you will do the remainder in uh, two, four, five, and six. Now, in each diagram here in exercise 7 through 12, the given triangles are congruent. Identify their common side or angle. So here you'll be doing exactly what you did in 1 through 6, except you'll be identifying the common side or angle, and you'll do that from 7 through 12 on the triangles provided only. After you finish those, you'll go on to the next part, and you'll make it and a look at this proof, and you'll be able to uh, work this proof and do its, uh, see what you can do about filling in those open spots and trying to use that to write a proof, and this will be extra credit on this assignment. Okay, hopefully everything goes well. We'll have a half-hour class, and you'll be able to see this get it done, complete the assignment, and enter it on Schoology.